I'm here. That is way more menacing than it had to be. Look at this. Look at this nonsense. All that graphical power of a Nintendo Wii. No, Nintendo Wii U in its Nintendo Wii mode. Oh, we're going very old school tonight. All right, so you're maybe gonna hear a little feedback. Just putting that out there, top of the stream. You might hear a little feedback because I'm not gonna wear headphones. Um, not gonna wear headphones. So you might hear my TV a little bit in addition to the audio. Um, But, uh, let's get this out of the way. So, yeah. Monster Hunter Tri came out for the Nintendo Wii. Which means we have... A good ol' Nunchuck, right? That's a TV. <laughs> we have a good old Nunchuck. And attached to this Nintendo... Wiimote... Is... The... We what is it called? Is it con Classic Controller Pro or whatever? So Monster Hunter Try came bundled with this. There we go. Bundled with this controller. And just shift that over. And uh, this probably made the game very enjoyable for me. Because I managed to get it with this. Um, this controller has been sitting on a shelf though for a while. My Wii U has been sitting on a shelf, though, for a while. And this is on my Wii U. What's going on... We put the nunchuck on the floor, by the way. What's going on is, um... Huh. There we go. What's going on... Is this is actually playing on a Wii U in the Wii mode that the Wii U has. So yeah, this is Monster Hunter Try. Um, you're gonna see a black bar on the screen. That's because... That's because, um... I mean, it's technically a EMU through another... Through a, I believe, a 720p connection. Um, for people watching this on YouTube, I may cut this video up and I'll put a little a little banner around, I think, to cover up the black bars. I could resize the screen, but um, I don't want to resize the Elgato because I'd have to resize it back. Anyways, let's get in to what's going on in this game. First things first, let's look at armor sets. Now, first things first, I'm going to go over the weapons in the game. So, in Monster Hunter Tri, all of the weapon groups from 2nd Gen didn't make it into this game. These are our weapons. We have the Greatsword, the Sword, aka Sword and Shield, Hammer, Lance, Bowgun, Switch Axe, Longsword. There are no Dual Blades, no Gun Lance, no Hunting Horn. Also, it just says Bowgun. What happens here is we have Frames, Barrels, and Stocks. So what we do is we actually combine together a frame, a barrel, and a stock to make the bowgun. So bowguns end up being light, medium, or heavy in this game based on your combination of things. I didn't remember it's just called sword either. Yeah, and that's forgeable. Upgrades. These are, wow. Look at my pl plethora of diverse weapons I've got here. Yeah, there weren't a lot of things in this game, by the way. Oh, yeah, a lot of these aren't ever going to be able to be upgraded again. Just putting that out there, I will never be able to upgrade these. Because you can't get to high rank. At all. When you're uh, doing offline. Because high rank was online only. Hey, 
Wait, did I have the sword saint piercing? I actually need to look at this real quick. But armor worked basically the same way. I didn't, and I can never get that either. I only have the grace earring. Yeah, so, um, weapon groups were different in this game. So, yeah, let me go through my, my sets now. Oh yeah, so they had bowgun sets. So you would make your bowgun out of a combination of things. Wow, I actually had a lot. I forgot I did bowgunning in this game. And that was your, uh, the way you bowgunned. And then you equipped it with a, with an item set. So yeah, what I've got right now. Oh, I forgot I had like the, like, eye marks on our, can we change that? Nope. Um, yeah, so this is my basic leather set I'm wearing now. I'm just going to go over the weapons, or weapons and armor, because I think it's just really funny to do this. And uh, my gathering set has Divine Whim, Heat Cancel High, because there's low and high, Speed Gatherer, Gathering Plus One, Cold Cancel Low, Pro Transporter, and Recovery Speed Plus One. Because in the Volcano and in... Um, what was the snow area called? We'll get to it. In the snow area and the volcano, there were actually areas where you had a low and a high for the cold slash heat. So for gathering the volcano, it was great to not have to bother with cold drinks. And for gathering in, I think it's the tundra, um, not needing hot drinks was really helpful for just doing that gathering. I actually want to see something real quick too. Wow. That comes in from the side of the screen. It just doesn't appear. Right. That's how I enabled that. Speed gatherer plus six. Cold res plus ten. Oh, God. That had slots on it. I don't think that weapon has had slots since this game. Anyways, um, let's go through. So, this is my capture set. And I'll point this out. So we have that on number one. This is my most commonly used set. The laggy set without the helmet. Because what I was doing with a lot of the sets was I worked in not using a helmet so I could have the grace earring in wide range plus two. So with this, we end up with wide range plus two, speed sharpening, Olympic swimmer, elemental tech up, and razor sharp. Pretty cool, actually, to have that running. Um, so this is my main set. And then my other main set was this one. <laughs> um, <laughs> so yeah, the Jaggy Mask actually was used because the Jaggy Mask had Fate plus 10, so it gave you good luck right out of the gate. And then... Um, <laughs> and then the, uh, the Baggy set was the capture set. That's where we get capture guru and capture expert. And then, is this where I get my luck from? Yeah, fate plus four, and I think there's maybe a fate gem in here somewhere. Yeah, a fate gem right there. So that gives us great luck with the capture skills, which is great for the requisite capture quests. Specifically, Legia Cresses. Wow, the character even, like, moves a little weird. Specifically, Legia Cresses. And... Um, this weapon... Oh, we can use any weapon, actually. But yeah, the Sabertooth G. Um, I use that a lot. So yeah, then we had this set. This is basically just the... Um, this is basically just the high rank Legia Crest set. The reason I have this set up is for Awaken to use Sinister Saints, and it's... I said 500. It has 600 fire in this game. It has an absurd amount of fire. We'll get to using that set, too. So I just have the Hunter set with Evasion gemmed in, I think. And then we got the Damascus set. I liked it because it was just a knight armor, even though it's not actually that good for SNSing. I just made it to make it, and we got a bunch of skills out of it that are... Uh, not exactly great to put together, but whatever, I did it. Rathian set. I think I did Rathian because it looked cool, and... 
I don't know, I think I just did it because it looked cool. It's weird that it's HG earplugs on Rathian. Um, here's one of the other main ones, the Helio set, because we go with HD earplugs, Sharpness Plus One. I put in Capture Guru, because this set, in particular, this set in particular, um, left the Talisman open, and I just had Perception Plus Ten on it. So, um, yeah. And we could, if you equip the three high rank with the one low rank set pieces, you actually can drop the helmet out of this, too. Uh, so that's what gave us that grace earring. And if I could make a sword saint piercing to go with that, I would. And then here we have the Baryoth set. Same deal. We get evasion plus two, evade up, capture guru, cold cancel low. And we have our helmet slot open. So we have our basic Baryoth set. And then we got, uh, this is the gunner set for Jen. Man, I forgot. Wow, even, like... Oh, God, the character just doesn't turn around when you just tap the button. He actually turns. And then, yeah, this gunner set... I believe... It's a clus set. This is what I think I was gonna get together to do a Latrion. But, yeah, you can see that by combining the frame, barrel, and stock, that's what gives us our uh, 1, 5, and 2 for our clust S. Yeah, this is why they don't do this now. It's so complicated. It's cool, don't get me wrong, but it's so complicated. It's like almost needlessly complicated. So you got recoil down, plus three, and plus S all up. Well, that's a mouthful of a skill name. It did make the gun look different, by the way. Yeah, so this one is my pierce set. I totally forgot I had a pierce set in this game. Wow, that's goofy. But hey, it's Diablo stuff. Um, this is my light bow gun set. I think it's just like a speed gun set, actually. I have to look at this real quick. What does this one even do? I don't remember. Okay, let's look at this. The pierce gunning one is, is the obvious one. What's this light bow gun? Pellet flaming. On rapid fire, it looks like. Yeah, I think this is just to get an absurd amount of normal shots with some Rapid Fire Pellet 1 and Rapid Fire Flame, maybe. And I think we have... Do we have Evasion running on this set? Attack up large, bonus shot, elemental attack up. Yeah, it's to do the fire. Fire damage. I don't remember why I had that set, though. <laughs> I really don't. Yeah, so this is just uh, let's maximize the weeb set. Because we got... Old Gen Moran, which was a samurai. And we're doing recovery speed plus two. It's Gen Moran set, essentially. Capture Guru, Focus, Elemental Attack Up, and Razor Sharp. So yeah, this is mostly for getting the Spirit Gauge full quick and just running the Spirit Gauge stuff as much as I could. could probably do a great sword with that, too. Mm, this is... This is the... Oh, man. This set is Sharpness Plus One, Earplugs, Focus, Crit Draw. So this is my Greatsword set. Huh. I I totally forgot I had a Greatsword set in this game. I think it's just a basic simple one. This is my Hammer set, HD Earplug, Sharpness Plus One, Focus. This one also, uh, yeah, that looks goofy. But hey, it's the Deus stuff. Um, oh yeah, this is the one I mentioned the other day. This is uh, Ludroth's set with the Ingot Arms. And I made this as almost a joke set. But I thought it was just really cool to get something like this. This is where I, I think I first started doing the Fashion Hunter thing, even though it's not that fashionable. Because you could change the color of this entire set to uh, anything, right? So I wanted the green coat. And I was like, okay, what can I make out of this? And the Ingot Vambraces had three slots. And they actually worked with this. So I combined it all together. Get con Constitution plus two, Guard plus two, and Divine Blessing. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, this is my Lancing set. Wide range plus two, Guard plus two, Divine Blessing, Trap Master, Razor Sharp. Um, and like I mentioned, 
if I had the option, I'd probably go for a Sword Saint Piercing with this. God, that looks awful. But hey, it's the Bander Lance Biako, and that that Lance is actually good in this game. In other games, it's not that great. This is my main Lancing set for Rathlos, because Guard Plus 2, oh, and Giganox, because Guard Plus 2 and, um, Guard Plus 2 and the uh, Windproof High with Guard Boost, that negates all of Giganox. That negates most of Rathlos. Rathlos is kind of tricky in that you... Like, you can't deal with the fireballs, maybe. You just have to turtle them. I mean, it doesn't... It's just... It's a much easier set to use against Giganox. And I'd obviously switch out the... Um, no, I think Giganox Lightning is is fine against them in this game. And we have our Rathlos set. I mentioned this one, too. <clears throat> Attack of Large Critical Eye, plus three. It, it's just Rathlos with the gunner helmet. Get you that. I have to look at my talisman real quick. I think maybe the talisman has something special. Yeah, expert plus six. Speed setter plus ten. That's how we get the uh, critical eye plus three. Oh, and by the way, if we look at this. We have 15, plus 15 affinity on that. Or it's 85 affinity. We have 85 affinity in Monster Hunter Try. I think Critical Eye plus 3 gives you more than 30 in this game. Wait, at the... Can we get the pointer in here? Oh, there we go. We have to hold it. Uh, oh, it is just 30. Right, okay. Hey, Healy Cup. So what it is... So it says plus 15 affinity and plus one slots. Um, there were three variants of this lance, and each one had a different thing there where that green box is. So it really is... Hazel Knight, it really is, I think... I think the base weapon had 55% then. 40% would be base. 15 plus for the green version. And I think... Oh, we have uh, one more. Barioth and Bonabra. Evasion plus two, capture guru, status attack up. Oh, yeah. And razor sharp. So this is my... This is my uh, sweet looking kind of set that is meant to para the crap out of monsters. Hey, Minerva. I even had a para SNS set in this game. How funny is that? <laughs> 